Okay, we're gonna be right in here. I'm gonna give you this headband and I can adjust it for you. We cleanse and we prep the skin with a toner, then we use the peel. The booster that we're using is an optional step. And then we do a moisturizer that brings the skin kind of the pH back so it's feeling good again and then sunscreen. So we're gonna do a cleanse first. How's your skin feeling today? Good? Mm -hmm. Everything feels normal? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do a cleanse. So first I'm doing a cleanse, <clears throat> just cleaning the skin. She's not wearing any makeup, but we just want to do a nice cleanse to the skin. Get it nice and clean. Yeah, this is a nice warm towel. Really nice. Get the skin nice and clean so that the peel will penetrate better. I'm gonna put on a toner that degreases the skin so it prepares the skin for the peel so that it penetrates evenly across the skin. Sometimes it can have a little bit of a tingle to it, not always, but I'll just have you let me know on a scale of one to 10, with one being like water and 10, your face is very spicy on fire where you're at with this. Mm, like a one or two. Okay, perfect. That's. And I am going to give you a fan through this process. I'll let you hold it. Okay. So the skin is prepped. And then we're going to use the PCA peel. We apply this in layers and we'll just kind of, depending on how your skin is responding and how you're feeling is how many layers we do. So this is the first layer of the peel. And this is the chemical exfoliant that we're using for the peel. There's different ones we do depending on someone's skin concerns or skin type, but we do it layer by layer and just kind of see how the patient's feeling. So on a scale of one to 10, how is your skin feeling? I would say like a five right oh. in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna have you turn the fan on. The nice thing is you get it gets a little spicy sometimes, which is normal, but then the fan takes it down. We just kind of wait for the the skin to feel. This booster, it has some retinol in it and it helps, it penetrates further in the skin because of the pH that we've gotten it to with the chemical peel. So it can cause a little bit more flaking, but it's also going to help regenerate cells. Retinol in general helps to thicken the dermis of the skin, which is always a, mm -hmm. a good thing. I'm gonna avoid right under the nose though. Okay. This is a little yellow in color, which is very normal for retinol products. Over here. Yeah, it's actually a pretty quick process overall. And then with this particular peel, um, you don't wanna apply any water to the skin, wash the face at all for eight hours. The nice thing about this peel though is it's self-neutralizing, meaning it will just stop on its own in eight hours. It doesn't keep penetrating deeper and deeper. So it's a nice peel because you don't have to worry about washing it off by a certain time because there are some peels that you have to neutralize, you know, by a certain time so it doesn't go any deeper. So this is a really nice peel. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of let that soak in. How's your skin feeling at this nice. point? Good? Feels good. Okay, good. 